Fortnite about to have some serious competition. That's right, what's up? Oh, All right. One play. What is going on, everybody? How? Oh, y'all doing before we get started with this video give it a thumbs up thumbs up like and giveaway 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 i'm giving away a 60 dollar nintendo switch playstation or xbox digital code all you have to do is subscribe to this channel and follow me on twitter links are in the description let's get this video so we have a couple of dope news items for this video the first one the battle royale field is about to get a little bit more crowded and this game that's coming out could give fortnite a more direct run for its money hyperscape a brand new um, battle royale game launching not in a matter of years not in a matter of months not even in a matter of weeks in a matter of days that's right ladies and gentlemen in a matter of days a brand new fort um battle royale game made by ubisoft you already know ubisoft is a great developer they got that bread that means it's going to be a quality quality battle royale game here is the leak the information and i'm going to share my thoughts um about current gen as well as playstation 5 implications all right um and these are images of the game right here images of the game hyperscape all right this is coming from polygon.com it's um a new game <coughs> battle royale game hyperscape it's going to be a fast-paced first-person shooter battle royale this is check this out a formal announcement could come thursday in two days Closed beta the week of July 6th and a full release as soon as July 12th. Bro, they're pulling the Apex Legend. Well, Apex Legend announcement release, quick turnover, capitalize on the hype. Looks like they're going to be doing the same thing. And this sounds pretty dope. Um, and this is the tweet, the original tweet. It says, sources today, Ubisoft will tease a new game codenamed Prisma Dimensions, which is actually a new AAA multiplayer fast-paced first-person battle royale from Ubisoft Montreal named Hyperscape. I'm hyped for this because Hyperscape, I'm hyped. I'm hyped for this because I know Ubisoft is a great developer, and this is why I say this game will more directly compete with Fortnite. Games, oh, <laughs> disappeared. Hi, I'm back. Games like um, Call of Duty Warzone. Um, this is more of um, a realistic approach. Even Apex Legends. Apex Legends isn't more realistic, but it spins off of Overwatch with different legends. This game, this game, the art style, and based on what we've what I, what we know so far, seems to more directly compete with Fortnite. Check this out. This is one of the cities you can see the players at the bottom and I think this game will give Fortnite more competition. Now, Fortnite has already announced they're moving to Unreal Engine 5 for the PlayStation 5. And so I could imagine Ubisoft is going to future-proof this um, Battle Royale game. It's coming out on the PlayStation 4, but of course, it's going to continue on uh, the PlayStation 5. I'm sure all of your progress will be able to carry over because um, the next-gen consoles are right around the corner. I want to see what improvements this game will have from getting it on the PlayStation 4 to the PlayStation 5, what kind of upgrades, visual improvements, because again, Fortnite will be transitioning to Unreal Engine 5, so um, all the games are gonna have to upgrade to keep up. 
Speaking of Battle Royale games, bro, this is uh, some more epic news. This is happening today. Call of Duty Warzone already has 150 player lobbies. Today, today, 200 player lobbies will release. I will tonight. Tonight, I'm going to try to hop on the 200 player lobbies with the sponsors. If you want to become a sponsor, the link's in the description. I will be playing on my gaming channel, Obi-Wan Plays Gaming Championships. Make sure you check out that channel. That's where I do my gaming content. Um, and so, Call of Duty Warzone, Warzone, Warzone will be 150 player, will move from 150 player to 200 players on a map, should be, should be pretty dope, and it launches today, sometime today, let's go get it, bro, breaking news, shout out to the homie Real Spike, Damon Lillard is the cover athlete for NBA 2K20, this is the brand new trailer, brand new trailer uh, for 2K21. This is my favorite game right now. Sometime today, I will be on 2K20 on the PlayStation 4. I got a two-way guard. We're going to be doing some 1v1s. I don't have all my badges with this build because I just got it on the PlayStation 4. But we're just going to be playing. So see, how, see how dudes are on the, on, the, on the PlayStation. See if they can hang with your boy. But... Uh, Damon Lillard is the cover athlete for NBA 2K21. Now, that's the um, for the cover athlete, the, the regular game. I could almost imagine or guarantee they're going to have Kobe Bryant on that Legend Edition. On some kind of special edition, they're going to have some kind of tribute to Kobe. Uh, so time will tell. But can't wait, can't wait for... 2K21. Right now, I'm going to be getting it on my PlayStation 5. I got to stick to one console and just grind on one console. I have the game on the Switch, Xbox, and now on the PlayStation 4. I'm an SS1 on the Switch and Xbox. I'd be at least an Elite 2 by now if I just stick to one console. All right. Um, next news item. New gameplay for Crash Bandicoot 4. It's about time. Not it's about time, new gameplay. The game is called It's About Time. A pirate stage. You can see him sliding. He turned upside down while he was sliding. This is going to be a day one buy for me. Um, already, um, I have the Insane Trilogy um, and love, love that. And so definitely, definitely, definitely going to be getting this game. Excuse me, this game. And the last news item. Reggie fils has played The Last of Us 2. And he interviewed the game's developer um, slash director, um, Neil Druckmann. Neil Druckmann in a recent podcast. And Reggie enjoyed the game. Reggie enjoyed the game. If Reggie liked the game, the game is epic, bro. Bro, this is my game of the year um, right now. Um, the story is so good. I could get why dudes are upset with the story, but it's the reason why I like it, man. It's so unpredictable. The gameplay is lit. Story is lit. Graphics is lit. This game gets probably a 9 out of 10. There's some frustrating parts where it's ambiguous. You don't know which way to go. But other than that, game of the year. Edges out Final Fantasy 7 for me, just slightly. All right, dudes, that's it for this video. What do you guys think about everything we talked about in this video? Sound off in the comment section below. I want to know. But before you go, bro, click that subscribe button. Stay up to date. All things gaming, bro. We out. You still watching this video? That means you like me. You really like me. I got to hook you up. That's right. I'm giving away a $60 digital code every month for your platform of choice. Xbox, Nintendo, or PlayStation. Two ways to enter. One, make sure you're subscribed to this fire right here on YouTube. Two, follow me on Twitter at Obi-Wan Plays. And that's it. You're in for the giveaway. But wait. There's more. Do you want to join an awesome gaming discord with prizes and tournaments? Do you want to get on my friend list and game with your boy? Become a sponsor. Three ways to join. One, 
subscribe on Twitch. If you have Twitch Prime, you can do it for free. Two, click the join button right here on YouTube and become a member. And the third way to join, patreon.com backslash ob one plays. You'll thank me later. Also, check out the swag, bro. Links are in the description. I'll see you later. Deuces. Thank you.